What's going on, everybody? Welcome to part eight of Pokemon Ultra Sun playthrough. My name, of course, is Blaze, and I'm glad that you're here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we've gone through uh, a good, good portion of this game, and I'm just about ready to leave the second island. Uh, right now, I think I saved it in the Ether Foundation. Um, not quite ready to. Well, I wasn't quite ready to figure out what they wanted from me, so we're gonna go into the Ether Foundation. Um, see what's cracking. And then we'll move on to the third island, and hopefully to some more island challenges. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? 82 Pokemon in my Pokedex. Trying to uh, fill that thing out as well, because I don't want to have to go back and do it all again later. Um, so here I am. This is I, I climb the ladder up to this area here. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do, like while I'm here. Uh, but let's just check it out. See what she has to say. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she's here in the conservation area. Oh yeah, I have to meet Lusamine. Sudowoodo is a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself, but wouldn't it be better disguise... to disguise itself as the kind of tree you actually see here in Alola? Or would that make it seem like an executor? I don't know. Good question. Um, so they also are very, very good at blocking paths, if you have not... if you didn't know that. Um, Sudowoodo are probably the best Pokemon ever at blocking where you need to go. So we're going to walk around here and find Lusamine. This Pokemon. I don't know what the point of this is. I'm going to be honest with you. I still haven't figured out what this does. I mean, I guess it's cool to interact with the Pokemon, but... I don't want to. Bye. So this way... I know this is not the way you're supposed to go, but I'm going this way anyway. Starmie is known as a mysterious Pokemon. If it's really a star from the night sky appearing to us in a different form, then it's like a Pokemon is just using us humans and making us take care of it. Do you ever imagine things like that? I do. Nope. When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. And then there are the regional variants, which are quite another thing altogether. Pokemon don't just change into regional variants, they like they might change forms. They don't do that. You are right, sir. So over here, there's other people blocking the path again. Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes in battle again after hundreds of years. It's kind of like a time machine, isn't it? PC boxes were first developed by a guy in the Kanto region called Bill. Apparently he's a real Pokemaniac. Yep. I've met him. He's good. Nice guy, that Bill. Um, but I guess there's no other people named Bill. <laughs> like, in the Pokemon world, that's the only person named Bill. We are also protecting so-called regional variants. What is it in the climate and and features that is affecting the Pokemon. We're trying to determine that by testing different parameters such as the local soil, water, and temperature. Regional variants. It can all seem a bit complicated, but think about it like this. If you visit a tropical region, you get a tan, right? Isn't it something like that? Uh, uh. Here we go. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Who's this? Ah? Her hair is wacky. <laughs> nice shoes. You must be Blaze and Howe. Welcome to Ether Paradise, the Ether Foundation's own private island. I'm the president of the foundation, but please just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. Yeah. And that's why I am here. I'll be like a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds far from the Alola region are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Luzamine. I don't know how you do all this. You're like not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? I'm here to dance. It's in the building. Hello. I'm here to dance. 
Thanks for stopping by. Wait, what? Uh, you just missed how hitting on Lu Lusamine, calling her not much older than they are. But she's actually like over 40. Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know? And how? Your style is a bit wanting. Hmm. Wanting? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. Uh, he's 11. Maybe, maybe give it seven years and then take him out. Like what you wear? I don't think any anyone else could pull off that kind of look except maybe Lily. Huh. <laughs> Playing Ultra Moon right now. Sweet. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children. Trust me, children would be would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. Yeah, maybe. But they never learn anything. Uh oh, that trimmer. Did something happen on the, on the, fl on the lower floors? Starliet, hello, welcome to the stream. So we've got some craziness going on in the world right now. The world of Pokemon. We've got this uh, dimensional rift and this uh, crazy Pokemon. Hey, is Ultra Moon an entire different game or just a DLC, kind of? That's hard to answer because it could have very well just been a DLC, but it's not. It's, it's a whole $40 game that is kind of the same as the other game that we've already played. So, you know, most people are going to be uh, supporting... Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for the for the ongoing for the next uh, several years or whatever, um, or the next you know little while at least the next year. So playing Ultra playing Pokemon Sun and Moon is no longer like you're kind of out of the out of the fold if you do that. So you kind of you kind of have to play Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun if you want to keep up with everybody else. But it's a little disappointing that it wasn't a DLC. It's actually uh, it's the same game basically, with, with some twists. Yeah, just like uh, I'm here to dance said. You are... Have you come from a distant world? Ven... Veno... Veno... Miss Lucimine, stand back. That thing's not right. No. You poor creature. Where's he going? Why'd he get... Why'd he get closer? Try to fight this thing. Venomenon. <laughs> Venomenon. Ugh. I'm fighting off a headache right now. I also have a toothache, which is not cool either. So. Question marks. Aura. Fled to life. Uh oh. 27. So I don't feel too bad, like, like spoiling this game for people, because I feel like, you know, we've already played the storyline before. It's all just a matter of, like, what new Pokemon are out there. That's, that's the one thing that I do feel a little bad about. But I don't think we'll have to worry about that. I think most people already know. There was a bunch of leaks. I don't know anything about the new Pokemon that are in the game. So anything that I see that's new, it's new to me. Ampharos dead. Oh, he survived. Sweet. Level 28. Synthesis. Yes, please. Sign me up. Get rid of ingrain. Two cannon leveled up. Nice. Salandit leveled up. Nice. And pretty soon we'll have some evolutions too. Well, well, well. The unidentified creature disappeared.
It's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need it. I need to get it back. Miss Lucimine, are you okay? That's Ultra Beast just now. It came from the other end of an Ultra Wormhole. It is a being from another world, a world that you know as Ultra Space. I don't know anything about Ultra Space. Who the? Seriously, what's with that getup? These are my guests, the Ultra Recon Squad. They have been giving the Foundation advice about the Ultra Beasts. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Duels. Zossie! Uh, we came to the Alola region from another world by passing through an Ultra Wormhole. We came from a world of darkness whose light was stolen by the one called Necrozma. See, this Necrozma is, like, unbelievably strong. It can wield light however it likes. And sure, it does run wild sometimes, but it also shares this mysterious light it has with others, too. But everything else will be fine. If this Necrozma or even an Ultra Beast like the one we just saw should come to this world from another, the Aether Foundation will be prepared to protect the light of Alola. Rest easy, you will not need to worry about a thing. So I'm certain that they'll be able to stop this threat because they have a trainer like me around. Wick, these two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm, and I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. It may be our it may be that our experiments to ultra to open an ultra wormhole are not going as well as we'd hoped. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. Sounds good. I never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Wormhole in my life, never mind meeting people from another world. Man, the surprises just never stop coming. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this the next time we see her. I'm glad you feel that way. What happened here today was a surprise to us as well. But I was very glad to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some malasadas for how? Yes! Big malasadas! Awesome! Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Blaze, a TM for the move Psychic. Why didn't you give that to How too? He has Pokemon. You're so rude. Like, you're giving me every advantage and not helping How with the same things. I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. Uh-huh. They're like, hey, Blaze, how about you take this super strong Pokemon and all of these TMs? My heart's kind of racing, you know? Ultra Wormhole is real and Ultra Beasts are real too. And now this Ultra Recon Squad too. The world is just way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island. We're going to need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. <laughs> you want a Malasada? No one likes how. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. I, I think he's alright. I like his hair. I wish I could have that hair on my character. That'd be cool. Ula Ula Island. Welcome to Ula Ula Island. Pelipper. Pelipper. I like this town. It's pretty cool. Land Ahoy. All right. Terra Firma underfoot again. Who speaks like that? 
Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place than Mele Mele or Akala, huh? We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Mele Garden? Why'd he want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? We've made it to Ula Ula Island now, and that means another new island Pokedex for you, big boy. Fill her up. Uh, my, my Pokedex is weird. Oh, sticker time. 24 stickers! Ah, ah, ah. And Corsola down here. Well, no one in the game likes them. They all ignore him over you. Even his grandfather. That is true. No one in the game pays attention to how. They're like, whoa, Blaze, you're from Kanto? Here. We want you to be the best Pokemon trainer there is. Oh, he wants to fight me now. I had a great idea, Blaze. Come on, let's have a battle. Alright, then let's go full powered on this one. So, I want to know what level his Pokemon are, because I don't think he would be able to beat the Island Challenge. Especially, um, Mallow. Because Mallow was tough. Level 30, that's not, that's not terrible. Uh-oh! Z-Power. Well, um, Ambrose is dead. Gosh. Okay, he's not dead. Cool. I feel like the, uh, the Z-Move was, like, super overkill and didn't even work. Oh, come on. I'm about to change. Let's go to uh, Primarina. Primarina will probably take out all of his Pokemon. I just didn't want to use him first. It'll be alright. Oh, really? Fire Fang? It did that much damage? Wow. Six ninety six. Leafeon. I will change Pokemon. Let's go with uh, Salandit. Flame Burst is a good a good move to use on this Leaf type Pokemon. Grass type. So level twenty eight Leafeon. And he's got like a full team of five, though. He's actually not doing too bad. Better than most trainers. I'll give him that. Leafeon's down. Raichu, huh? That's not really a Pokemon that I could... That's going to make much sense there, but I guess I'll use him. He doesn't have any ground-type moves, so he's probably not going to do very well against this Raichu. Oh, Bite will work, actually. Bite's a dark-type move, so Bite will actually be super effective. 29 Raichu. Oh, gosh. And he's dead. <laughs> Psychic. I'm not going to use Lycanroc much longer anyway, so that's fine. Let's go with, um, my gosh, I don't really have anything else. Fomantis? Sure. And we'll just do uh, Leaf Blade. I think he's going to die, though, right here. I knew it. Well, did not plan on fighting a Raichu today. 
Oh, super effective. Goodness. I gotta, I gotta revive everybody now. Oh man, Rock Smash is fighting type, which has no effect on uh, Psychic. This is crazy. This is like not normal. Well, let's just use Super Potion on uh, Ampharos here. No, that's not even a good idea either. Revive on... Oh my gosh. I am not set up for this. Let's just attack him, I guess. Electro Ball is going to be super effective on this two cannon, killing him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, gosh. <sighs> I'm not going to lose, but it's not looking good. Ampharos is the last hope. Uh, let's go with, uh, I guess, Sparkling Aria. Why does that write you so fast? Goodness. Hyper voice. What's that do? Uh, the user lets loose a horrible echo echo shout with this with the power to inflict damage. It's 90. It's like way better than pound. So let's go ahead and get rid of pound. Probably be better. I'm like super impressed with uh, How's ability here. Tauros, just keep going. I'll go ahead and use a super potion. That'll definitely help. Keep me in the game. Horn attack. Didn't really hurt. Sparkling Aria should do the trick. 28 Tauros. Icy Wind. Yeah, he's dead. So... I have my breath held the whole battle. That's not a good idea. You know what, Blaze? You should take this Lycanium Z. It came as a set with those big Malasadas that Miss Wit gave me, but I don't plan on adding any lichen rock to my team or anything. Okay, sure. You and your Pokemon look like you were having a blast. I guess it's like my Gramps said. Go beyond winning and losing and learn to find joy in any battle. Then you'll find that you're getting strong before you even know it. Mraw! What? You mad that I still don't seem to be getting all that much stronger? Sure hope not. Me and my partner ought to be, like, totally in sync with one another. We'll get there, buddy. Now I guess we should go try to track down Professor Kukui in Millie Garden, right? Sure. Are my Pokemon healed? Yep. Okay, so... I think it's up that way. Lily. Please, it's been a while since I last saw you around. But weren't you supposed to meet with the Professor in Melee Garden? Because I can't go anywhere else. Everyone says you have to visit the garden if you're visiting Mali. 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 Here we are. Mali Garden. I heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Mali Garden. 
I'll start my search from the bridge here. Why don't you start around the edge of the garden? Are you just going to stand there on the bridge? Alright, so there are Pokemon here that don't appear anywhere else. Good ones. I know Poliwag. Um, and a few others, too. Psyduck. A lot of water Pokemon that I've seen. Get this Thunder Punch out of the way. <clears throat> and then... Keep moving on here. I wonder if the Pokemon are all hiding in the shadows or rocks or something. I can't go that way right now. They really want me to go somewhere. It's very linear right now. I really have no choice. It's like, go here or else. Psyduck. Yeah. <clears throat> Lycanroc leveled up. I could use uh, Fomantis on this area. Could work. What in the world is the secret of the pond in this garden? There's no secret. Get out of here. What's this going to be? Nothing biting. That's that's a bunch of crap. Search again. Oh, come on now. Goldeen! Give it the old Thunder Wave and the old Pokeball. Oh, I already caught it. Never mind. Thunder Punch. Give it the old Thunder Punch. Ha. Huh. Paralyzed. That's a pretty high level Goldeen. It's like 32. That's weird. What else is there to do over here? Something's up here. I guess just the uh, Pokeball, I guess. Grab that. It's Ariados. <clears throat> Let me catch it. The old Thunder Wave, then the old Great Ball. So far, so good in this game. I haven't... I mean, I've come up against a couple of things that were kind of challenging, but... It's not been too bad. Don't you break out of that Pokeball. Ugh. Let's go with Ultra Ball. Maybe that'll work. Don't you break out. Don't you do it. Mm -mm. Okay, good. Ariados was caught. Level 34. Fomantis, level 29. Nice. So, Ariados data. We got that whole line complete. Every night, it wanders around in search of prey, whose movements it restrains by spewing threads before it bites into them with its fangs. That was a very, like... Oddly constructed sentence. That's all I have to say about that. It was just very strange that he... That the Pokedex decided to... 
word to put those words together in that order. That was just very strange. Another one. He should give off a bunch of experience points though, because he's got he's a higher level and he's an evolved form. Oh, you jerk. Shadow Sneak does nothing. Saland it. Saland it. <laughs> Saland it. Going this way, let's go over the bridge. This person is a trainer. When I'm traveling, I just want to point out everything. Okay. Sightseer Akali. She's like, look! <laughs> oh, no, not Raichu. This is regular Raichu, though. But still. What do I do? I don't have any Pokemon that can fight him. Maybe this one. I need a good ground type, is what I need. Because all it's going to take is one good Raichu, and I, I won't be able to win. That's not cool. Thunderbolt. Okay. He's down. 1,000 experience. I disclosed everything. Everything about my Pokemon. She's taking a selfie right now. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. That way. This way. Oh, look at that. TM73 Thunder Wave. <laughs> There's so many things to fight in this area. Cool. I don't have one of those yet, but I think I've seen one of those. Yeah. But I can't use... Um... Oh, gosh. I can't use anything on it. I guess I can use Dragon Rage. But I can't use any, any of my attacks because they'll be super effective and kill it. I want to catch it. But I can use Dragon Rage, which is not super effective ever. But it's like, it's like, it, <laughs> it's right in half. Somebody have an Ultra Sun game they want to give away. Whisper me. Toxic will work for now. Uh oh, poisoned. Let's just go with the Ultra Ball for now, then we'll go with Great Ball. <clears throat> this could still work. Not sure if it's going to be successful. Yeah. We did it. Level 33 to cannon. Uh, so, I don't have the Surskit. I know where to get it. I don't have it yet. Definitely need to go back and catch that. Um, let's see. Masquerade intimidates enemies with the eye-like patterns of its eye spots. If that doesn't work, it definitely makes it es makes its escape on its set of four wings. Back to the PC with yous. Okay, so I need to go over here. There's stuff over here. Rage, Rage Candy Bar. There's Professor. I don't want to talk to him yet, though. He seems lonely. 
feel like it's a bad time to talk to him if he seems lonely. I don't want to do that. So over here is uh, Hal. He hasn't moved. So no surprise there. I guess that's it. Can I surf? Uh-oh. The Pokemon of one of our guests and my own Pokemon became friends, so we're taking a walk together. Aw, that's, that's cute. They're gonna fall in love. Vulpix and Vulpix. Cool. Um... I guess we'll do Thunder Punch here, or here actually. Raise Leaf hits both of them, so that might, might be good. Okay. Ice is still powerful against Fomantis though, I forgot. Aurora Beam, but not on Fomantis. What a waste. That was a critical hit. Leaf Blade. We did it. <laughs> so even the combined power of a fiery Vulpix and a cool Vulpix can't, couldn't beat you. True. True story. Alright, I think that's all I, I have today. I'm going to go see if I can surf here. Nope, it won't let me. Right, what's he want? Ho, oh, Professor Kukui. Hey there. What's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Did something big happen? Only something amazing. Professor, you gotta hear this. An ultra wormhole opened up, like right in front of us, and there really are ultra beasts in there. And aliens from other worlds, too. You gotta tell Professor Burnett, too. <clears throat> Whoa. You get to see the Ultra Wormhole and an Ultra Beast? And folks from another world? That is amazing. Sounds like an even better reason to train hard, yeah? On your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll be able to go through the Ultra Wormhole. Alright. Your next trial is up on Mount Hokulani. You can catch the bus to get there. Just head to the bus stop on Route 10. You guys can go ahead without me, Professor. I've got a hot date with a Malasada shop. I'm going to get my Pokemon some treats so they'll really start to like me. Roger that, good buddy. I'll be waiting at the bus stop, Blaze, whenever you're ready to go. Hey, Blaze, did you know? Of course. I haven't even finished the question yet. There's an observatory up on Mount Hakulani. And you do know what it is they do in an observatory, right? Hope you do, because I sure as heck don't. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Okay, bye. Can I surf now? No. Okay, uh... If we go this way... There might could be some other stuff up here. Come on, Slowpoke, let's just take it easy, okay? Well, I guess you're always taking it easy, huh? You're such a Slowpoke, Slowpoke. <gasps> you sneaky snake. Time for a commemorative photo. Just need you to lose for me, okay? Um, how about no? Sights your Mitch. In my mind, this is the same couple as before. As like the uh, like the very first part of the game where like that girl kept running off. And he was trying to find her. Except he stopped trying to find her and she broke up with him. HP was restored. Hyper Fang. Fighting with Thunder Punch. I always forget the Ampharos is so slow. 
Like literally everything is faster. Eradicate fainted. Amphros level 35. Power gym, what's that do? I can't remember. It's a rock type. User attacks with a ray of light that sparkles as if it were made of gemstones. Let's go and get rid of cotton spore. Sightseer Mitch. So sad he's looking at his phone. Got a thing over here. Could be a, a Pokemon I don't have yet. Never mind. Forget I said anything. I'm just gonna run. Grassy seed. It's a Psyduck! So I don't know if I'll be able to make it to the next island challenge yet. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to make it to the next trial. And... Sign off after that. But today's been pretty good. It's been a pretty good day. Just a straight up day off. No work. Nothing to do. Just play games. That was. It's been a pretty fun day. I have to, I have to admit. It's been pretty awesome great viewers in the stream this is a this is thanksgiving day for me by the way so um normally i'd be at work on a thursday but in america they close everything down for thanksgiving and then it's all good oh my gosh it's gyarados did not think i was gonna see gyarados here I don't think I'll be able to catch it, but I want to try. Let me use a potion here real quick. Get healed up and then use Power Gym. I've got that reduced attack, so that might prevent it from killing the Gyarados. That was bad, though. I can't believe that that took me down so low. Ah, oh, great. Well, Thunder Wave will come in handy here. Oh, gosh. Gyarados is a beast, by the way. I love Gyarados. Super cool. Let's try to capture it with a... Um, I have one more net ball. Let's try this. It's probably not going to work because he's not weak enough. Oh, nice. Cool. That's awesome. I don't have to try to evolve uh, Magikarp now, so that's cool. Primarina level 39. Gyarados data will be added to the Pokedex. I'm just knocking out these pages left and right. Uh, it fires hyper beams in all directions, burning the surrounding area to ash. There are some regions where it's called the Deity of Destruction. Wow. Uh, Johto, probably? I think Johto had a, a very um, destructive Gyarados <laughs> when I played Gold and Silver, if I remember correctly. Alright, I gotta heal up, because I am in no shape to continue. We'll heal your Pokemon for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. No problem, lady. 
save it up real quick. Made some progress there. I'd hate to, I'd hate to like lose that Gyarados if something happened. Oh, Blaze, I'm glad I ran into you. You've been standing there waiting for me this whole time. What do you mean you're glad you ran into me? I was actually wondering. What do you think of her? The president of the Ether Foundation, I mean. I don't know. Right, of course. I just thought maybe you'd met with her. I'm sorry for asking you something so strange. Anyway, what I really wanted to ask about was... Is it about Nebby? Yes, I want to take Nebby to visit Ula Ula Ruins, but they are located deep in the large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. Right now, I'm planning to visit Meili Library. There's a book that I want to look up, look for there. Maybe you'd even be willing to help me. I know that Meili Library is here within the city of Meili somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? Uh, something about... Hey there, Whippersnapper. Do you know that Quick Link lets you connect to somebody nearby in a flash? Though you never know who you might end up connecting to if there's a lot of trainers about. True story. This is the food place. I don't want any of this stuff. Over here, we've got... I don't even know what this is. Another food place. I like this place, though. It's kind of cool. Very cool. Up here, we've got another cafe. It's just all cafes. Or is this is the haircut place. I don't need a haircut yet. I guess I'm fine with my hair right now. I'm probably going to change it at some point, but I guess I'm fine with it the way it is now. So here, a new shirt, maybe some shoes, maybe some pants would be good. Sporty tank, it's just tank tops, no thanks. Cut off jeans. <laughs> Those look so... Just, I don't know, not right. The cargo shorts are kind of cool. Capris. That's, that's not bad. If I was going for orange or yellow... Sporty long shorts. I do kind of like those. That one's not bad. Sneakers. Bag. We've got a sporty white bag. Sporty backpack. I don't like these backpacks that much. The one I have is kind of perfect. At least for my... My current uh, state. Sunglasses. Uh, what was the other one? Hats? I don't mind that. I could use that. A trilby hat. Street cap thunderbolt. Thunderbolts of lightning. Very, very frightening. Cucumber. I wouldn't mind having this one. But is that the right one, really? Is that... I would love to have this hat in a, in a black with the red trim. But it's not bad, I guess. I'm going to buy it. I'm just not going to equip it. I feel like I should wear it because I don't want to wear all the same like default stuff. But I won't wear it yet. I do want some better clothes, though. The clothes I have, I've had basically since the beginning, so... 25! Ah, ah, ah. Up here. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, this is that This is that room they, that everybody was talking about. Everybody thought this was going to be Vermilion, Vermilion City Gym. Welcome, Cantonian in the making. This is Cantonian Gym, kid. You can challenge us if you pay 1,000. Okay, sure. 
One thousand for one drink and charge. Okay, boy. Welcome to the battlefield. Here's your drink. Soda pop. Uh, enjoy one trainer challenging the Cantonian gym. All these trash cans in this room, they give it a mysterious feel, don't they? So it is... It looks like it is being modeled after the Vermilion City Gym, but it's definitely not um, Kanto. It's definitely not in Kanto. Interesting how they chose to do that. Level 29, Mancino. Charm. I'm guessing this person, the person that we saw in that picture uh, from a couple of months ago, is a, a gym leader, but they only have one gym, so that's my guess. And fainted. <clears throat> oh, well done, sir. You'll be the Cantonian in no time, I'm sure. Sure will, probably. Knock yourself out in authentic Kanto-style Pokemon battles. That Your Pokemon aren't even from Kanto. You can't even say that they're authentic Kanto. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this just yet. I guess we'll get through the whole thing and then make, make my assessment, but... Power Gym? Yeah, that's probably way better. Ow. That's like doubly effective because it's rock type. I'm pretty sure rock type's good against flying and bug. Salondit. Nasty plot. Um, I'll move what I want to forget. Simulates its brain by thinking bad thoughts, raising the special attack stat. Mm, I'm going to say forget it. Oh, congratulations. Would you like to order another drink? Um, with your money? Sure, if you're buying. Definitely will. This is what a Pokemon Gym is like. I haven't had this much fun in years. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for saying what everybody's thinking about these uh, silly trials. Did you know this place is inspired directly by the Kanto region? The main scene of Pokemon Gyms. I hear it's perfect recreation of a famous gym in Vermilion City. Those Kanto folks sure know how to show people a good time. Welcome, trainer. I'm Adrian, one of the gym trainers here. All right. Ooh. Smooch him. Power gym. <clears throat> I feel like this Ampharos needs the quick claw. Because he's having a hard time getting things started. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I did. Thanks, though. I'm not a trainer. Just a regular here at the gym. If you defeat four gym trainers, you'll be able to challenge the gym leader himself. So yeah, I'm thinking that guy is definitely the gym leader. And that's... We were on to something as far as it being modeled and looking like a uh, Vermilion City gym. But it's not quite there. Um, I guess we'll use Power Gym. Oh, so close. But yeah, I think every, everybody was thinking that we're going to go to Kanto and that that was going to be the thing. And that would have been really cool. Except for the fact that we didn't. <laughs> that we're, we're definitely probably not going to go to Kanto. Because I would love to, believe me. Such a tease. I bet I'm not even the first trainer you've beaten here. Yeah. True. 
Is this the gym leader? Hey, you little tyke. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. I'll be your final entertainment for today with my authentic Kanto-style Pokemon battle. Uh-oh. Kantonian gym leader. Uh-oh. Machoke. That's the Pokemon you're choosing to... Uh, it's not going to go very well for you, man. You definitely should have a better theme for this gym. Oh, no, not revenge. That was like a straight left hook. Right hook. That was crazy. I don't have a psychic type or a, um, a ground type. I need... I could definitely use either one. Uh, psychic type for these pesky fighting types, but I also have a, uh, I do have a flying type, so I don't really need it, but it would come in handy. My authentic Kanto-style Pokemon. <laughs> Where'd you get that thing? You're strong. Okay, boy, you get the Surge Badge. Cool. That Surge Badge suits those who defeated me. It's just a novelty item, but take good care of it, okay? There's something else. You were the first Cantonian, so here are some great food and drink for you. An item set with Leader's Special written on it. That item set contains a shocking combo of 10 soda pops and some poke beans. Guzzle down the poke beans and crunch down on the soda pop and enjoy yourself. We hope to see you again here at the Cantonian Gym. I guess you can fight in there more often than, than that. That's, that's pretty cool. Just caught my Fomantis. Nice. Good job. I really like Fomantis. When I was young, I walked a lot. For example, stand on the white square. From there, past the white triangle, the black triangle, the black circle, the white circle, the black triangle, the black square, the white circle, the white triangle, and come back to the white square. Uh. What? <laughs> Blaze, I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop. And then I saw this outfit, and they said it was the last one they had in stock, so I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it. But the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library. So I guess you could say it was all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the apparel store if I had just kept going. Nee. Yeek. <laughs> this thing's empty. Yeet. Blaze, it's been a while, friend. Looks like your island challenge has come along favorably. That must be pleasing to the Tapu. So, Blaze, who might this be? We're just friends. Don't worry. We're just friends. Hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale spooked you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? I'm actually up studying the Tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you the way whenever you'd like to go. My Mudsdale here is as sturdy as all get out. She can easily carry two. Thank you for the offer. You know, I never got the uh, the Pokemon that helps you find items. <laughs> Shall we check out Maybe Library first, though, since we're here? I see what she did there. Check out Maybe Library like you're checking out books. I get it. The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Hmm. Interesting. Hope you find it. For free, you can read all these books for free. I'd swear I'd live here if I could. I don't want to die until I've read every last word on every last page of every book in the world. Good luck. 26 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah.
Um, I've heard this is a book somewhere in this library about legendary Pokemon said to be Alola's very own son. Alola, young Blaze. Since you're out and about exploring on our island challenge, you must already know about regional variants, don't you? Yes. Just as I would have expected. Yes, regional variants. They arise when the influences of a particular region cause a Pokemon's physical aspect and even type to change. If you have a local Persian, the regional variant, I'd like to see it. I don't have that. Whoops. Terrific Tapu Travel, the Tapu Guardian Deities are each thought to have made their own prospective fixed island into their base. However, that is a recent understanding and the Tapu of old were said to capriciously visit other islands, play with people and Pokemon, and then fly off somewhere else. It seemed as if, for the Tapu, these were aimless trips. But while it may have seemed like wandering, we suspect that the Tapu were trying to facilitate communication between islands. Cool. Um, I guess I'll go upstairs. It's probably where Lily is. That's where she is. It must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of the library. <laughs> is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Oh, of course. Just call her princess. Well, it's titled The Light of Alola. I'll just uh, read it out loud, shall I? The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where it had been none. A single beast appeared from in it. It was called the beast that devours the sun. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that shone so like the sun. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end the beast had won. Then it did the beast that devour the sun. Shine its light on the line of kings. Then did the beast that had won bring nature's gift to bless all things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in a Lola born that island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Sogaleo, the song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar. A perfect pair, even after mute. I did not enjoy that uh, bit of poetry. I thought that was kind of rushed. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes, it is. But when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yep, it belonged to my dad. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of other old stories about Alola too. You interested? Well, that'd be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here. But I know why you've come to Alola. Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Blaze? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. Makes sense. So, we don't even... Uh, she didn't introduce herself at all, but we know her name. You're just a few steps away from the trial at Mount Hakulani. Well, a few steps on the bus ride, that is. <laughs> Funny. There's probably a sticker up here I missed. Yep. <laughs> 27! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. So I need to go to grab this sticker first. 28! Ah, ah, ah. Um, there's a bus ride up here, I think. Or is it down this way? I think it's down this way. That's uh, team, team Skulls like area, I think. I don't know if you describe the bird Pokemon in Alola as being comfortable around people or just plain aggressive. I don't know either. Looks like you're a trial goer, eh? I've got a favor to ask you. Too busy. 
<laughs> no time to listen to an old lady's problems, is that right? Wow. Route 10 has here is long and wide, and it's a great place to let your Pokemon play a bit. My Stuffle hadn't been getting much exercise lately, so I let them out of their balls to have them run around a bit. But they haven't come back. I want to go look for them, but it's hard for an old lady like me to traipse all around. If you find one in my little Stuffle, just tell them to come back to me. They're impish creatures, but smart as a cookie, and with those with noses that could sniff out anything. They'll find their way back home to me. Will you help me? Sure. Eight Stuffle. It's the Stuffle dreams are made of. Mm. Uh-oh. What is this thing? Cottony? Oh, it's Pineco. I think this is a new Pokemon to Alola. It was not in the original game, I don't think. Pretty sure. Although I don't... I can't... I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Let's do Leaf Blade. That didn't do anything. Already calling for help? Wow. Wow. Gonna have to switch Pokemon here. Lily's hair is so ugly. I don't like her, like, her pigtails that hang down. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, one thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up for Lily just for a second here. I'm, just, I'm only gonna say one thing, is that she's just a young kid trying to find her place in the world and trying to do what's right. And doesn't really have anything to, anybody to lean on, so... While it seems like, yeah, maybe she's a bit... What's the word? A bit of a noob? I mean, she kind of is a noob, so... It's okay, I think. Oh, gosh. Sturdy, okay, cool. That worked out. Pinko's gonna get caught. Great ball. I need to buy some Pokeballs. More. <laughs> it's like she couldn't decide on a hairstyle, so she did all three of them. <laughs> She's like, should I have bangs? Should I do uh, the pigtails? What about um, double pigtails? I'll just do everything. Pineco's Pokedex Entry. It says... Why don't you check out... Oh, never mind. It says motionless. It hangs from trees waiting for its bug Pokemon prey to come to it. Its favorite in Alola is Cutie Fly. Cool. Cool. All right. Let me go, uh, I need to go to the Pokemon Center real quick, heal up, and then we'll head over to the bus stop and get, I, I really need to have a, at least a move that's going to be good against, uh, electric type Pokemon. But I don't have any Pokemon that are good against that right now, so... I was thinking about training Diglett a while ago. I didn't do it, but now I kind of regret not doing that. So, it'll be alright though, I think. Just have to keep going. I think I need to buy some Pokeballs, too. Great Balls and Ultra Balls as well. And while I'm here... Always buy in uh, bundles of 10, and you'll get a Premier Ball for free. And Pokeballs, at least. Okay. So now we're going to head over back to where we were. I think there's a trial thing down here, which you can't get to yet. Pretty sure you can't go down here yet. Oh, you can. Huh. Isn't there a trial right there, though? I can't... I don't remember. 
I think they closed down the uh, the shopping center that's over there. So you can't get to it unless someone lets you in or something. It's alright, though. I was walking by that tree and a Pokemon landed right on my head. I don't know if I should call that luck or what. Uh, what? I don't want to do that. Get out of here. Press the wrong button. So let's switch out Ampharos for Salandit. We'll see how this goes. Alright, sir. The ridiculous power at the scene of a fire. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Water type? Firefighter Alex. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have kept Ampharos out. You're way ahead of me. I've been taking my time. I'm on the third island right now. I'm um, not trying to be ahead of anybody, just trying to... Uh, I want to finish the game, really. I've been playing a lot, too, so... You know. I think take. there's a lot to be said about taking your time, and I, I would definitely take my time if I didn't just want to be done with the game. I, I just want to be done, so... Uh, Blinding Fozzie's back. What's going on, Blinding Fozzie? Just going through some Pokemon. Ultra Sun. About to go up to the first trial on the third island. Fomantis, level 31. I wonder if he needs a Leaf Stone to evolve. I'm not sure. And Skarmory. Definitely need to try to catch this one. Thanksgiving is going pretty good. I, I hope yours is going well. Uh, mine's actually... Uh, it's not bad at all. I got to play video games all day and... Didn't have to worry about anybody, so... It's pretty cool. That sounds pretty sad, but it's not. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I want to finish too, but I'm not as motivated as you are right now. That's a good way to look at it. Oh, gosh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm definitely a lot more motivated to get through this game. Um, and really only because I, I, I've i played it before. Now the next time I play through it, I won't be as motivated. I'll probably take a lot more time. Oh gosh. But to be fair, the next time I'm going to play it, I'm going to play it as with all unevolved Pokemon. So I'm going to I'm going to need to take my time. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but I've also been enjoying games all day. It's a good day. Um, I also did go online today and bought three games. Um. That's weird. I bought uh, Overwatch for PS4. I bought um Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 for PS4. Um whether or not I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts, I still have not decided yet. But I feel like it's it's one of those games that I'd feel bad for not having. One of these days I will go through it. But I'd like to have it. That's all. And then I also bought another copy of Animal Crossing for the 3DS. Um... Which means I can probably start doing the things I want to do with those games. 
Uh, but right now, it's uh, really just for the um, just for the uh, welcome amiibo card that comes with it. Oh my gosh. What about um This is a this is a weird one because he's like he's a flying type and a steel type. He doesn't really fit the criteria of any other of any other Pokeball. And he's paralyzed and one HP. I don't know what else I should there's nothing else I can do here. He's gonna kill all my Pokemon by doing this. In the most annoying way, too. At least with them being paralyzed, he won't call for help. But... Ah! Uh, you're gonna waste all my Pokeballs I just bought. I'm gonna be so mad at you. Oh, I hate you so much right now. I hate you. Ouch. Ouch. Let's see. And... I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Like, he's literally paralyzed right now. He can't do anything. This is the perfect time to catch him. Okay, good. <laughs> he had to give in. Pokedex data added to the Pokedex. Registered. Alright, so it says, The wing feathers it sheds can be processed and made into knives, whose sharpness is recognized by the finest chefs. Wow. All right. Got a good Pokemon now, boys. Uh, let's see. I got to use a revive here. Maybe a potion or two. Feel a little bit better about staying in this area for just just a few just a little while longer. A Hondu berry, Greppa berry, and Tomato berry. Young boy with an island challenge amulet. Your Pokemon are looking a bit tired. I hate you. I think that you're the worst person ever. Trying to level up your team, eh? <laughs> I'm actually just trying to to get to the next uh, trial. It seems like uh, it's a little farther away than the other trials have been. And I certainly want to... I do want them to hi have a higher level, though, when they get there. But right now... Gotta start somewhere. There are other Pokemon here in the trees I want to catch. There's a Fearow, I think. Or maybe a Skarmory. I'm not sure what this is. Fearow, I would like to catch one. Flame Burst. Yeah, mirror move. Almost... Almost think, and I think I did completely avoided everybody here. <laughs> Ow. That really hurt, Fearow. 
only have a few turns to catch the Fearow in, so let's try Ultra Ball. Catching Pokemon in tomorrow, I'll begin my first trial on the second island. Yes! Yes! I did not want to have to level up uh, Fearow, so I'm glad that I was able to catch him. Lycanroc leveled up. Rock Slide, what's that going to do? That Rock Tomb doesn't do. Uh, 60 damage. 75 also make the Pokemon flinch. It's a good one. I mean, I think all things considered, I'm enjoying playing through this game again. I just wish it wasn't so obvious, you know? That it's the same game. I wish it was it was just more different is all. Hey. So Lazzle. Nice. And so Lazzle's data added to the Pokedex. Nice. So Lazo lives deep in caves and forces the Salandid it has attracted with its pheromones to serve it. Oh, wow. That's dark. Captivate. What's Captivate do? Uh, the opposing Pokemon is the opposite gender. It is Charm, which harshly lowers its special attack. Let's say no. Keep old moves. Like, I think I think that having a sequel to the original Pokemon Sun and Moon would have been a much better way to go. Because you've already been through the areas. I think that you had opportunity to make things, like, vastly different. Um, carrying food through Fierro's territory is dangerous. It will snatch the food away from you in a flash. So I'm a little disappointed that they didn't go that route, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not hating my life going through the game, but I, I just wish they'd done a few things different. Swift Wing. Okay, up this way. There's more um, stuffles. Were you bothered by this beauty strolling along or by my Pokemon? Uh, neither. I just wanted to get you out of the way so you wouldn't try to hurt me. Here we are. Flaffy. So Lazzle's a little bit stronger now, so... Should be able to take you out. Flame Burst. Ow. Her tail's on fire. That's awesome. It's not a carbon copy, is what I'm trying to say. That's Yeah, it's not a carbon copy. Just not sure if there's enough different to justify playing through it twice, is all. That's number four, I think. Maybe five. This one right here. Uh, six, possibly. Seven. Max revive. Oh, but here I am playing it, so I can't. I can't really complain too much because I. I am enjoying my time playing the game, so. I don't have Eradicate, so hopefully I can catch this one. Ow! It's probably gonna kill it. Ow. Oh, nice. The only thing I really like is all the extra new Pokemon. 
True. I like the Pokemon and the interface that the game is, is bringing to the table. The interface looks a lot better. And... Yes! Raticate's mine now. Raticate's data added to the Pokedex. You're still early on in the game, so once you get later on in the game, you start seeing the differences more. I hope so. And I believe you. I think there probably are a lot more later. Um, and that's fine. It has an incredibly greedy personality. Its nest is filled with so much food gathered by Rattata at its discretion, or at its direction, it can't possibly eat it all. Buses can get a whole lot of people to where they need to go all at once. Though I'd kind of like to see a whole herd of ride Pokemon like Toro stampeding together. Thanks for telling us what buses do, bro. I just want to get through it. I don't like battles. I just like catching and raising Pokemon. I think there's one more. Uh-oh. This is, uh... Oh, I thought there was something different. The beginning shows a small bit of differences, but you really see them later on. <laughs> Already caught this Pokemon. Let's go ahead and just KO it real quick. Super effective. Sturdy. Don't call friends. Come on now. We'll go with Dragon Rage. Despite Dragon Rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Even the trials you see a difference in. Yeah, I think they, they changed um, Mallow's trial. But they had to because there was some controversy in her trial originally. I'm not going to go into detail, but it was, it was a little bit controversial. Um... I didn't notice it when I first played through the game, but when I saw, when people had started talking about it, I was like, oh, okay. But I won't go into it if you really want to know. I'm sure there's a ways to find it. Speed Rose. Dragon Rage. Oh no, not, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I'm not going to use Black and Rock. Um, Kiawe's Trial was a little bit different too, but it just wasn't different enough. And I actually hated Kiawe's Trial. Kiawe's Trial was like... The first time I ever played it, I wanted to punch somebody because I thought that was just the stupidest thing I've ever seen. And this time it's a little bit less stupid, but it's still the worst trial ever. Um, I'm here to dance. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't even bother to look it up. It's it's kind of stupid, and it's uh, it's just it's just weird. Like you really have to be looking for it. And when you find it, it's like, oh. Okay, where's this last stuffle? Also, these guys. I don't know what they're doing. You never see somebody take a bus stop to go before? Hey, yo. You trying to steal our bus stop? Go find your own, you heard? Um, who's... 
I wonder who else, whose other's trials are different. I haven't seen the last four, the back, the back four, just yet. But I know that uh, the first three were mostly the same. Mostly. Dragon Rage. Uh -oh. Odor Sleuth makes it so that if you use evasive type moves, the Pokemon can still hit you. Hey, yo, when I fight, I'm not supposed to lose. <laughs> Dang, I lost. Then my homies gotta fight you. That's just life in Team Skull. We stand up to even the strong, yo. We stand up not, but not for long, yo. May as well call him Team Scrub. Team Scrub. Scrub a dub dub. Confuse Ray? No! Ow. Air Cutter. Ow. Oh, come on. Twice. I was gonna say, if it happened a third time, I was gonna be so mad. Ooh, so close to leveling up. Bomantis, though, level 32. I love Slash. Slash is a great move. Let's get rid of this late Razor Leaf. I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. I don't know if you care, but that bus stop weighs about as much as a golem. I don't care. You're right. Yo, think about the bus drivers. If we take this bus stop, they can all chill. That's not what you're thinking about right now. I'm over this. Back to living large at the mansion. So I wonder if these guys actually have... If there's any more than just three Team Skull Grunts. There's A, B, and C. Well, there's A and B, and then there's the girl... Blaze. What's going on? Some Team Skull punks just ran past me going the other direction, yeah? I sure wish they'd challenge the league instead of getting up to no good all the time. What? You'll find out soon enough. Just you wait, cousin. First things first. If you want to head up Mount Hakaluni, we should take the bus. It'll blast us up there to the top, yeah? As quick as Sky Uppercut. I'm not ready for that. I'm trying to find this other stuffle. Oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't fight this guy yet. Wee-oo, wee-oo. My impression of a sign is pretty good, eh? I'm pretty good at Pokemon battles, too. No, I don't want your number, no. I don't want to give you mine, and no. Intimidate. I'm just going to switch Pokemon real quick. I don't want any kind of like confusion going on. I don't want anything weird happening. I'm just going to use the water move to kill this thing. Pow. Pow. 
Oh, nice. Primarina leveled up, and I think Salazzle levels up, too. Level 40! Gosh. Special attacks, like, off the charts. Something else. You're better at Pokemon battles than I am. Yeah, dude, you used one Pokemon. What'd you expect? I was obsessed with TLC when they came out. I was in middle school. That's the only song that I know from them except for uh, Waterfall. And uh, it's, it's honestly the best advice I've ever been given. Is uh, I don't want no scrubs. That's why I never became a doctor or a nurse. It was uh, the best life advice that any anyone could ever give. All right, let's go heal up real quick and then go talk to that lady and then get on that bus. Get on the bus. Why does she have eight stuffles, though? Just seems like a, a bad move. To have eight stuffles. Bum 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 ba dum bum. Oh gosh. Scrubs look comfy though. Helped it in appear. Maybe it's because you got no friends. Cool, 37. Health wing? Interesting. You did it. You've been a great help to me. I surely do owe you one. Have this muscle band. Muscle band is a really good item. I'm glad I helped her. And 15,000? Cute and strong are just a little bit wild. That's what a Pokemon should be like, and that's why Stuffle is the best. Heal up again, just because I'm passing by. And heading up this way. Alright, Kukui. I could just walk, but I don't want to walk. I want to get to the next challenge. Our safe driving record will absolutely slay you. Come on, come on. Climb in. I am being slayed. Mount Hokulani. Hokulani. Over here. Mount Hakalani is the second tallest mountain in Alola, and the tallest. Check it out, Blaze. You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. Cool. It's a sacred spot, yeah? The closest you can get, ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. Said to be the Sun Incarnate. That's right. Right there on the peak of Lanikali is where I'll establish our Pokemon League. We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, and up there on the peak of Mount Lanikila, they'll battle against the Kahunas to become the Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge champion to the World Champion. And then, when we have our own champion, uh, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alola Pokemon and their trainers. 
Cool. <laughs> Give me a holla. Pokemon Center. Okay. So I don't know if I'm ready to fight the Kahuna here. I'm going to do it. But I really don't think I'm ready for it. 29! Ah, ah, ah. Luckily, I have a bunch of uh, <laughs> items. Are you walking down the mountain? It's pretty far to the next bus stop. Sorry, youngster, but I can't fight you. My Pokemon are like brothers to me, and they're not interested in battling weaklings. If you want me to ask them to fight you again, beat all the trainers on Mount Hakulani. That's rude. Peak of Mount Hakulani... Hakulani is the second closest place to space in the Alola region. Pokemon are in space too? Wow! Can I get under these things? I don't think I can. No. Alright. Let's go over here. And we've got... This person. You're still as fired up as ever. A royal. Ha. Huh. Blaze, let me introduce you to this. This is Malane. Malane. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes. But he's not Hakulani's captain. But I was the captain once, my masked friend. It's Blaze, right? Thanks for coming all the way up to Hakulani to visit us. Our captain Sophocles is a rather busy young man, I'm afraid. Always calculating Comet's paths or updating the Festival Plaza thing of his. If you want to be introduced to the Masked Royal, though, well, that's something I can definitely help you with right here and now. Yeah, I think he's even stronger than we were at this point of our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukui. Who's this Masked Royal you're talking about? <laughs> Just think about that favor I asked you, yeah, Malane? I want you to seriously consider it. I guess I should head back to Melee Garden. Even Hao should be done eating malasadas by now, yeah? I'll make sure he makes it up here too. <laughs> Think I'm done playing for today, I'm here to dance says. That guy's as interesting as ever, my old buddy. He's a little something to remember our meeting by, Blaze. Steelium Z. Cool. Behold. Cutting sharpness, unyielding power, yes, this move has them both. And it is what you need to know to draw forth the Steel-type Z power. I gathered these Z crystals when I was on my own island challenge back in my own day, adventuring with Kukui and my Pokemon in search of strength. You should go ahead and use it now. Now go on inside and tour our observatory as you'd like. And if you're ready for the real trial, Captain, Sophocles can be found in the, off in the head's office. Here we go. Charger bugs. Hakulani Observatory can view distant planets and galaxies with the help of Pokemon like Togedemaru and Charger Bug, of course. Take you. I guess it's time to feed you guys. Cool. Take this to commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of space with you. Comet Shard. It's a fragment that fell to Earth when a comet passed by our planet. You can feel the vastness of space. Oh, what a sense of adventure. 30 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. We use different waves, such as infrared rays and radio waves, to detect celestial bodies. I'm blanking out. Hey, what is this? Ma what is the magnitude of a star that's ten times brighter than than a fifth than a fifth magnitude star? What? Fifty? Whoa, who are you? Sorry, sorry. I thought you were my fellow scientist. Sorry that I asked you such a, such a difficult question. Take this as my apology. Stardust. Okay. Am I right or no? Look, you guys need to clean up your, your laboratory. 
31 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Nothing over here. Locked by a security system. Was there another door over here? No. I'm not sure why they have a doorway there, but you can't go into it. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm going to save real quick, because I don't know what's going to happen with this dude. He might beat me. You're getting close to your goal. I imagine you must come here to accept a trial. Huh. So, uh... Where are the charger bug? I guess it's their dinner time. Oh, so they're eating? Right. The charger bug are real glutton, do you know? The charger bug helped me out with my trial. So you can... So can you go get them all for me? I'll have to get everything else ready while you do that. I'm gonna have to get Togedemaru's help too. This will be my first time testing it. So it would be a huge help if you would go call all the charger bug for me. Okay. 32 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. 32. All the charger bug. Can we go... Can we make this easy? Where'd they go? Uh... Not a fan of that little dude. Like, he doesn't look like he's somebody that could be a trial captain. He looks like he's just a... He looks like he's just a kid that plays Game Boy all day. Um... So how do I call the Charger Bug? I guess there's something inside here. I think maybe I missed. I missed something. Is it right here? No. It's supposed to summon a totem Pokemon, but apparently it uses too much power. What do I do, man? Yeah, I get you, but what, how do I summon them? I don't even know where they are. They go outside? There you are. The Charger Bug are all fed up, are all fed and happy. Let's see, I'm only counting six. They're not all here yet. Sorry, Blaze, but do you think you could go find the remaining Charger Bug? We're only missing three. They should still be eating in that empty lot by the bus station. Um, he looks like a kid who plays games and eats Twinkies all day. Twinkies are, like, super good, though. I'm actually thinking about getting Twinkies now that you said that. Although nothing's open today, so I can't go get Twinkies. That sucks. Wait, which... What? In the empty lot by the bus station. That's over here. He doesn't mean down the... Down at the base of this place, does he? They're not down here. There's no way. That's so weird. Where are they? And they're not down here. I don't think, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> snuck right by. Oh no, he caught me. Walmart is open every day except Christmas. <laughs> they are. I think they close at like 7 today or something. Because it is technically Thanksgiving. They open back up at like... Um, 
like 4 a.m. or midnight or something. So. I used to work at Walmart, and uh, one of the days that I had to work was Thanksgiving, and it was like super dead. I kept asking to go home, and they kept saying, no, you know, we can't let you go home yet. I'm like, it'll save you so much money, just let me go home. The longer you let me stay, the more money you have to pay to keep me here, and we don't need it. Finally, they let me go home, but it took, it took like mountains of convincing. 33 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Where are these charger bug? Down here? Oh, I guess maybe. No. What? Oh, it's Minwar. I need him. power ow shields down it's green our Walmart is 24 hours they only close at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve and then they open early the next day after Christmas yes Minuar was caught. Minuar. 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 Click. <laughs> That's cool. I love this Pokemon. I, I want to catch a shiny one of it. Places where Minuar fall from the night sky are few and far between, the Alola being with Alola being one of the freshest few. And I'm guessing we haven't run into any others, any other regions that do the same. Okay, so... Alola is a tropical region, but mountain peaks can be cold. I'm so smart that I brought Magmar with me. Uh... This is not where the charger bug are. Mm. <laughs> I just want to know where they are. Oh, probably in here. No? Uh, Saturday night, I will be shiny hunting moon. Definitely. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm not sure. I'll probably be trying to find another, um... Well, I'll, I'll be trying to find Embor again, because I still haven't caught him. And I would love to have one, so that's that's the goal for Saturday night. Okay. How's it going, Blaze? Did you find all those charge bug? Oh, seems like Steve seven seven jabug is missing. It always wanders off to strange places. Oh, we call the nine charge bug by their nicknames: one jabug, all the way to nine jabug. That's him right there. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Jabug, Jabugabug. Oh, seven Jabug. There you are. Thanks for the help in finding it, Blaze. Now we should get back to Sophocles. No doubt he's been craning his neck like an executor waiting for us. Yeah, at least watching you, you'll be able to find out where the Charger Bug are.
I, I thought they were in there, but I didn't think you could get into that little area. Um, I just didn't see the entrance. You gathered those charge bug quickly. I knew there was something special about you. Really? Because I can gather charge bug quickly? So over there, that's the room where we have the trial. Alright, let's do it. Switching off the security system. Charge a bug, go in. <laughs> Toki tomorrow. I better be fully healed right now. Nope. Well, let me go heal real quick. Just because I don't know if they're gonna try to heal me first. You think they would, but this would be the this would be the one time they don't, and I don't want to mess that up. So it's just right here. So all right, this is the trial I'm actually most concerned with because I don't I don't have any Pokemon that are gonna be good against Electric types. So this might be short. This may not last long. But hopefully, I won't lose. I will save the game, though, right before it. Um, I think I'll be okay as long as I can use, um, like, revives and stuff, which I, I can. So, let's go in. Uh-oh. One Jabug, two Jabug, and three Jabug are all on the board. All on the roller. Yes. We should be ready for them to lend us their electricity. Take you? Toga Demaru and Charger Bug get along very well. We use Toga Demaru's ability, Lightning Rod, to absorb any sudden surges from, from Charger Bug so we don't get zapped. By the way, we gave Toga Demaru a nickname. Togamaru. So do you want to begin my trial, Blaze? I've been waiting for it. You're really into this. Okay, let me explain how my trial works. First, you need to connect the charger bug that are on the roller. We'll use the electricity from the charger bug to power up the machine. That should let us call the totem Pokemon. Use the four buttons on the edge of the roller to rotate the panels and connect the charger bug in a line. Just as an example, this is what happens when you rotate panels. I see. So if you know how to do it, why do I have to do it? You don't need to worry about which way the charger bug are facing as long as they're connected in a line. Let me summarize. We connect the charger bug to summon the totem Pokemon, which you will hopefully defeat. Also, as a side note, this is the first time we're using the two machines, the roller and the pinger. Let's get this trial going, okay? My trial is about to begin. Is it because... Ah, that's so weird. Okay. Now we're ready to power up the pinger. Like, am I just sitting here because you don't care if I get electrocuted and you're standing back because you don't want to get electrocuted? This just seems really weird. Oh, snap. It's alive. It's actually working. The pinger is getting a good dose of power. Now the totem Pokemon should be here any minute. Not this time. Not yet. It's Elekid. Elekid. Level 29, eh? Ow. Cool. KO'd. Minimal effort. That's what we like to see. Next up, oh, of course, Elekid love electricity, too. It must have been tempted out by the pinger. 
We didn't call the Pokemon we wanted, but it seems like the Pinger works just fine. So what now? I think the one row of Charger Bug isn't giving it enough electricity. If that's the case, all we need to do is add another circuit. If my theory is correct, this should let us pump more power into the Pinger. My trial will continue. Why don't you just put the Pokemon on the thing? Like, why do you have to put them in the... In the... Ah, it's so weird. Um... Nailed it. <laughs> this kind of stuff annoys me. I just want to get through the thing quickly. Now we're ready to power up the finger. Okay. It's not going to be enough. It's actually working. The pinger is getting a good dose of power. Yes, we're getting much more power than on our last try. Zap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Electabuzz. Salazzle. Goo. Flame burst. Hopefully a burn or a KO. No, that's alright. Electro Ball. Probably fine too. Didn't hurt too much. Yeah. Level up. Always good. Salazzle's stats are probably pretty good too. Ah, uh, they're actually not great. <laughs> special attack's pretty good. And speed's pretty good. But defense and special defense, not so much. Gotta be careful. Alright, now what? Electabuzz, it seems like the more power we pump into the pinger, the bigger Pokemon it attracts. This is amazing. If that's the case, let's give it some more power. That'll definitely summon the totem Pokemon. The more charge above we connect in a direct line, the greater the electrical current that is generated and the longer it flows. So that means... I've got it, Blaze. Actually, I think you've got it already, too. So my trial will continue to continue. Diagonal, I guess. Separate these things. There we go. I never pay attention to my stats. I just go. The charger bug are all connected. Everything should be good now. Now we're ready to connect the roller with the pinger. Oh, yeah. That looks like a Z. Uh-huh. The cables are looking a little unstable. I hope it doesn't cause a problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> that face, though. The charger bug will get blasted with electricity if we don't do something. Okay, tomorrow, what are you doing? Are you trying to save everyone? Token tomorrow's ability is lightning rod. It can attract electricity to itself, but the current is too strong. There's no way Token tomorrow's electric stacks can handle all of it. Hang in there. I gotta do something. Uh oh. That seems bad. <laughs> Zap. This must be the totem Pokemon. Totem Togedemaru. 
Its aura fled, flared to life. Salazzle, so let's do this. It's a lower level. Maybe I should toxic it or something. Protected itself. Um, I think toxic is gonna it's gonna save me in the long run if I can just make it if I can just poison it, we'll be okay. I want it to be poisoned so I can survive a little bit longer. So I don't even really have to like do anything to it. Oh snap. Tailwind. So there's one. We're gonna go ahead and use Flame Burst on the Skarmory. Oh no. Not quite what I had in mind. That's alright. We'll go down to. Ouch. So Toxic is a move. It's one of the best moves in the game. When you're when you when the opponent is poisoned by Toxic, every turn it loses a little bit of HP. Like once the first turn it, lo it uses a it loses a little bit of HP, but every turn the amount of HP lost doubles. It's one of the best moves in the whole game. Okay. That one's supposed to happen. It's attack row, so I can't use those types of moves. Power gem I can use, though. Spiky shield. That didn't do anything. No worries there. So he's going to keep losing double the health every, every single turn. To a point where he won't be able to survive at all. Oh man. He's charge, I guess. Zing zap. Special defense rose. Tailwind. Yeah, I don't. I don't even have to like mess with Toki tomorrow. He's he's gonna hurt. Sure, it's gonna he's going to attack me and it's gonna hurt, but it won't ever be super effective. And Skarmory is not really a threat either. So he's probably gonna die this turn or next turn. Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> and now we go to the old Thunder Punch. I was kind of worried about this one for being an electric uh, challenge. That wasn't too bad. Are there even version exclusives in the Ultra games? Yes, there are. I don't. I think um, one of the Ultra Beasts, one of the new Ultra Beasts, is a version exclusive. Ultra Sun has the clown thing, and Ultra Moon has the the building thing. You defeated Totem Togedemaru. And all the same version exclusives, um, as far as Pokemon go, all of the ones from Sun and Moon are also present in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Um, but also, there's a few others too. I don't know what they are, though. Thanks, Blaze. Togemaru and company, they were saved by the Totem Pokemon. The Totem Pokemon is really something else, and that means you're one heck of a trainer if, to have beaten that Totem, Blaze. I'm curious though, what is that aura with the totem Pokemon surrounding... What's the aura they surround themselves with? I really need to work on the totem calling machines though. Togedemaru and Wunjabug and company. They're all my precious friends. You've got that right, Safi. Finding things that you notice. Even little things and improving on them. That's how science works. Come to think of it, that's how Pokemon battles work too. Here, Blaze. I'll give you this elect... elect Z to reward you for beating the totem Pokemon. Thanks, pal. 
We're like best friends now. Remember when I told you I got rid of all my extra Ultra Beasts? Oh no! I do remember that. I do. I think I remember even subtly hinting at the idea that you might come to regret it, but... Um... I hope you don't regret it, that's all. Come on, Safi, you still need to show him the proper Z pose to use it. Watch. Congratulations on clearing your trial, and Sophocles did well as captain, too. I was really nervous. Don't you worry, I'm sure that I made the right choice in naming you captain. Even if you are my cousin. That was, that's a weird looking smile. Usually it's the island Kahuna who appoints the captains. But there are some er, unusual circumstances here in Ula Ula, so somehow I ended up captain. But you were really great, Blaze. Maybe you should invite him to check out the battle agency in that case. Big Mo, you're a genius. That's a marvelous idea. Blaze, come with me to one of Festival Plaza's most unique facilities, the battle agency. You kids have a good time. This is new stuff. Battle agency reception desk, not to brag, but this facility is pretty sweet. First, go ahead and borrow a Pokemon at the reception desk. You can choose one of three Pokemon. Once you've borrowed a Pokemon, next is asking trainers to join your team. Look for trainers who have strong Pokemon. Battle alongside your teammates and get rewards. Hmm, now, that sounds like fun, actually. If you keep winning, your grade will go up. If your grade goes up, you can battle with stronger Pokemon. Battle a lot and raise your grade. That's how it works. Go ahead and give it a try. How was that, Blaze? The battle agency, it's pretty cool, right? Well, if you're done here, Blaze, could I ask you to do me a favor for me? My pal Kukui seems to have forgotten this. Ha! Ha! Key items pocket. He said he'd be going back to Melee Garden, didn't he? Sorry to ask, but take it to him, would you? Maybe next time we can battle too. Spoiler alert, Professor Kukui is also the Mast Royal. All signs point to yes on that. Alright, I'm going to head down to the bottom of the mountain. I don't want to fight this path right here yet. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and save right here. and I'll, I'll head down the mountain the hard way and catch as many Pokemon as I can tomorrow. Um... Heal up my Pokemon, and I'm going to go ahead and sign off tonight. So, uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by and being a part of the action today on this super cool Thanksgiving Thanksgiving episode. I really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow night uh, with another Pokemon episode, um, probably around 8 p.m. Eastern. Check that out. And then also, um, I'll come back... Uh, Friday I might be playing Splatoon. I'm not really sure about that just yet, but... Actually, tomorrow is Friday. Ha! <laughs> well, either way. Um, Saturday I'll probably be online playing the usual. Smash Brothers and, uh... Also... Pokemon Shiny Hunting on Saturday night. And then, of course, we've got Animal Crossing on Sunday. So lots of cool stuff coming up on my channel. On my Twitch channel. And... Those will probably transition over into YouTube as well. But guys, I want to thank you one last time. Hit that like button, hit that uh, subscribe button, and uh, I'll catch you on the flippity flip.